The next thing we'll deal with is your text. Okay. Um, well, actually, we could deal with the drawing. So let's deal with the drawing here. Put it on. Uh, activate your layer for the drawing, and then we'll select some of the drawings to go into. So file, place, and I have a few drawings in here. Uh, I'll use the same drawing just so that we can demonstrate this thing. Um, site plan, it's a JPEG. So we'll place, oh, before we do that, it's a good idea to uh, use your frame tool so that you kind of can plan where you're going to put this thing. Okay, and then say, Control D to select, let's say, that object or that drawing, and then go ahead and move move your image within that frame box. Now the frame is set up so that so that you can kind of plan for this image to fill this area. Okay, so this one right here, we'll do another frame, and this one we'll do the the PDF. Okay. So this PDF and stuff, or PDF or JPEG, you are going to basically use you're going to make all of these stuff while you're in AutoCAD or in Illustrator or something. So make the images to a scale first. So when you print your AutoCAD drawing, make sure that it is going to fit to an 8.5 by 11 size when you printed it to scale. Okay. So a little bit about putting drawings in here after you set up the line weights and all that other stuff. Um, like we said before, for portfolios and things, you do not need to put the drawings in an actual scale, eighth inch scale, quarter inch scale, actual architectural or engineering scale. The more important thing is that you are looking at the, at the drawings that you have and it's very legible and the line work is fairly crisp. Okay, so that's the more important part. In doing so, however, you do most likely want to put your graphic scale in there. So graphic scale is going to be important. Make sure that you have a graphic scale in there. Most portfolio, you don't show a actual written architectural scale on there. Okay. If you look at any monograph, you'll see that, or magazine, you'll see an actual graphic scale instead of somebody saying that it's uh, uh, you know, one eighth equals one foot or whatever. Only reason is because the editors and stuff, they shrink down your drawings, right? So it's not going to be to scale anyway. So, so same with your project. As long as you have a graphic scale in here and your drawing is very legible, you should be good. Okay, so to reiterate, make sure that you make your drawings well, in a whatever whatever program that you have, AutoCAD, Illustrator, what? But then save it into a PDF or JPEG or some other image file to the actual size that you want before bringing it into uh, Illustrator. Okay, and then that won't change your scale or anything like that. All right.